Ladies and gentlemen, these two patch notes have completely changed the meta. Fixed knot crawler zombies sometimes injuring the feet or legs, and made it so groin injuries from knot crawler zombies are less common, and that crawlers can also inflict uncommon groin injuries. The first one is a little vague on whether it makes standing zombies always be able to hit the legs or never, but that's nothing a little testing can't fix. I stood around for 10 minutes letting a zombie attack me for data, and did not receive a groin or leg injury that entire time. However, after turning around to present my behind, I received two groin injuries in two minutes. At about one attack every three seconds, that's still quite rare, especially from the front. Which leads me to come to this conclusion. The No Pants Gang is peak performance. There's a handful of gameplay mechanic reasons, and one much more important reason for this conclusion. The vanilla game starts in July. July is a warm month in Kentucky, and at the rate you guys die off, I'd say you've never experienced the cold. What does being hot do to you? It gives you this collection of boodles. The first tier makes you thirstier, when combined with the fan favorite negative trait, high thirst, you'll want to carry an extra bottle of water around. That means less space for loot. The higher tiers of the Moodle make you slower and slower until it starts to kill you, but you are unlikely to get that hot without some extreme circumstances. You also generate body heat while swinging your weapons, exercising, and running around. There's really no way to avoid becoming at least a little warm during the Zomboid summer if you are interested in wearing some protection from teeth. Since there's no longer a strong need to armor up your crotch and legs, joining the No Pants Gang is an easy way to avoid the jewels getting sticky. The now freed up leg slot is perfect for fashion statements. Fashion in the apocalypse is the most important thing after all. 